Hi everyone, welcome to this video. The video is about what is social engineering and its legal aspects in India. So let's just move forward directly to what is social engineering. In the recent years, social engineering has gained a lot of significance, particularly in the realm of cyber security and law in the wake of globalization. So basically, unlike traditional method of hacking, which exploits the technical vulnerability, social engineering is a deceptive practice that manipulates human psychology to gain access to sensitive information, such as one's system or bank account or any other valuable information which is related to technological means. If we go back to history, the term social engineering was given by the scholar called Roscoe Pound, which worked under sociological school of jurisprudence. He explained law as a, a social engineering, which means a balance between the competing interests in society. So for that, let's just move forward to understand social engineering techniques and tactics. There are many techniques of social engineering, but three of the most common are here. So one of the most common social engineering technique is phishing which involves sending fraudulent emails or messages that appears legitimate. These messages often involve malicious links or attachment designated to trick the recipient into revealing their sensitive information such as credential or financial details. Now the second one is pretexting. In pretexting, the persons manipulate the other person by giving their fake designation or a fake scenario. Here, for an example, a person imposing themselves as a trusted authority figures like a company executive personal, which they are not, so that the other person can diverge into giving the information or performing actions that they were not supposed to do. At the last, there is baiting. Baiting involves something which excites the other person into something appealing such as a free software or a exciting offer here baiting contains malware or malicious elements that compromise the victim security such as leaving a usb in public place or sending an email containing details of free content these are some of the social engineering techniques but there are so many of the techniques which cannot be covered in one video so anyone interested can further read by themselves. So moving forward, there are legal implications of social engineering in India. So let's just talk about the first one, which is Information Technology Act 2000. Information Technology Act 2000 gave a primary legislation governing cyber security and electronic transaction in India. It has three major key provisions. First one is section 43, which says that unauthorized access to computer system is illegit. Second one is section 66, which makes computer related offenses. And last one is section 43A, which gives the compensation for the failure to protect data. Now the second one is data protection law under which comes the personal data protection bill 2019. It basically focuses on obtaining informed consent for data processing providing individuals with more control over their personal information. It also imposes obligation on entities to implement security measures to protect the confidentiality and integrity of data so that a personal data should be personal. And now at the last, right to privacy. The right to privacy became fundamental right by the Supreme Court of India from a landmark case, which we will read in the later page which is Puttasami case in 2017. Through this, right to privacy basically emphasizes the importance of safeguarding personal information from unauthorized access and misuse. The Right to Privacy Act as a foundation element for the subsequent legislation and judiciary decisions related to data protection. Now, coming towards the case law, which I said earlier, which is Putto Swami versus Union of India 2017. This has been the historical case in 2017, which came up under Supreme Court of India by a nine judge bench, delivering that the privacy is an intricate part of right to life and personal liberty guaranteed by Article 21. To that, under Article 21, now there are three important majors, which are right to privacy, right to life and personal liberty. 
I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope this presentation make you understand about the social engineering and the legal aspects in India. This was Gaurav Bansal signing off.